Hey guys, I wanted to show you a little quick tip on how to get some normal maps inside of Photoshop without having to do it by hand. There are some filters out there that will help you out. These are, you know, quote unquote old school. Extra Normal has been around for a long time. It's a great little handy program. People still use it. One of the cool things about this program is that it comes with some Photoshop filters and that's really what we're downloading it for. Uh, if you want to know how to bake normals inside of X normal that's for probably another video and let's just talk about how some of the things have really changed over the years um, one of the things Photoshop now moves their plugin directory into the root C drive and you know there are other things that could kinda mess with the install of X normal filters inside of Photoshop like maybe Microsoft OneDrive for example and so I just kinda wanted to show you how to get some of this uh, these filters into Photoshop because uh, they're still reliable they still work really well so I'm just gonna right click on that install of X normal filter again you can get it at xnormal.net and you just download that latest version uh, when that downloads we're gonna go to um, I'm gonna open up I'm gonna right click on the install and say open archive through 7-zip I have 7-zip installed on my computer and this will allow this will allow you to see what's inside of that install and we want to open up I believe it's this 13th bin let me double check that 14 is yeah that's a Maya script or plugin and we're gonna go okay so you want to go to bin 13 and you want to drag these out and store these somewhere for maybe for a later date because um, I forgot I had had these and I've done this before and I sort of had to rediscover how to do this again and um, you just pull those out I made a little note to myself that we got to drag these into the C directory. So we're going to go program files, Adobe, my latest version of Photoshop here. Let's go presets. Oh, sorry, plugins. And we're just going to drop these straight in, I believe. We might have to put them in their own folder might be worth doing no I think it says put it in the I made a note to myself to just put it straight in the root so we're gonna drag those there do this for all items continue and then let's go ahead and launch Photoshop Just gonna say control in, start a new document. I'm just gonna do something small here. 512 by 512. Maximize, and if we go filter, there we go. Down here at the bottom, we have our X normal filters. Now, I mean, they're great filters. They just work nice and clean, real fast. So if I go in here and I just kind of throw on some information like that. Turn it into a layer. We'll say filter, X normal. We're going to say height to normals. That's going to give us this little box here. And what we want out of this is max RGB. Um, I have a tendency to kind of turn the smoothness down. And then if you work in 3ds Max or Unreal, you're going to want to flip this to Y negative. Let me just. I think we leave that at default. Then we're going to say continue, and there is our quick normal map filter. Great little filter by XNormal. And then the other thing that we want, uh, that I typically use out of this, would be to make a cavity map or a curvature map. So we're going to go XNormal with our normal, by the way. We're going to go XNormal. We're going to run to cavity. We want this on EMB. And we should probably also set this to Y negative 
Well, actually, no, I think we leave that. Yeah, let's leave that. And then the rest is default. We're just going to say continue. And there is our curvature or cavity map. So I hope that was helpful. Those are just, you know, quick filters for getting cavities and normals inside of Photoshop. Uh, in another video, I'll talk about how to get them or make these manually. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.